Hello everyone. Thank you for your purchasing the Force Cam IP camera. In this video, we will use the FI-8918W camera as an example to learn how to configure the following settings. 1. Log in the camera. 2. Configure the wireless LAN settings. 3. Configure the remote connection settings. 4. Configure the email alarm settings. 5. Configure two-way audio settings. Hardware installation. Open the package. Take out the camera carefully with correct movement. And check if all accessories are included. And make sure there is no physical damage to the camera. Insert the antenna into the camera and tighten by hand. Connect the camera to the router with the network cable provided. Power on the camera. The camera will start to pan and toot after power has been turned on. Allow the camera to finish the initial pan and toot. Software installation. Place the enclosed CD in the CD-ROM drive of your computer. Install the IP camera too by selecting either the Windows OS version or the Mac OS version. In this video, we will use the Windows OS version. So, we select the program in this Windows OS folder to install. Follow the screen instructions and click Next until completion. A shortcut will be created on your desktop. Please note that the shortcut for some Windows 7 64-bit computers may not be created correctly. If that is the case, with the mouse right-click on it and change the path of shortcut to the right one to solve the problem. At this point, the preparation steps of the camera are completed. We will now Begin setting up the camera. In this video, we are using a Windows 7 64-bit computer and Internet Explorer 9 to set up all the steps. 1. Log in the camera. Make sure the camera and the setup computer are on the same network. Double-click to open the IP camera tool. The tool will search for the camera's LAN IP automatically. When you double-click this IP address, a browser will open the login interface. Input the default user ID, which is admin and no password. There are two login modes. If you use IE browser, please choose the first ActiveX mode to log in. If you use Firefox, Google Chrome, or Safari, Please choose the second server push mode to log in. In this example, we will use Internet Explorer. So, we will choose the first ActiveX mode to log in. For Internet Explorer users, you will need to install ActiveX when you first log in the camera. When ActiveX prompt is displayed, select Allow it run and install. Once completed, you will be returned to the login interface. Fill in the username again and log in. The browser will now display the camera's live video. There are four menu bars on the left which will navigate you to the proper interface, such as device status. This will show you whether or not the camera is optional. The interfaces will navigate the users to other features outlined in the manual. 2. Wireless LAN Settings To set the wireless LAN settings, click for Administrator, select Wireless LAN Settings, and then click Scan button. This may require a second scan to detect Wi-Fi signals around it, and display them in the wireless LAN list. Select the SSID of the router. The SSID 
Encryption boxes will automatically be filled in. The wireless key will have to be entered manually. Now, log in into the router and copy the wireless key and paste it into camera's Wi-Fi settings. The SSID, encryption, and wireless key of router must be identical in the settings of the camera. To complete the setup of the Wi-Fi settings, click Submit and the camera will reboot. At this time, unplug the network cable. If the IP camera tool displays the camera's IP again after the reboot, this indicates the camera has a wireless connection. If the camera has connected through a wireless connection, the green network light will flash quickly. If the camera obtains an IP from DHCP server, the wild IP and wireless IP may be different because its wired and wireless MAC address are different. 3. Remote Connection Settings If you want to control your camera remotely, the remote connection settings will need to be configured. As an example, we will show how to set remote connection settings for dynamic WAN IP users. First, we need to obtain a DDNS account from www.dyndns.com. Choose dyndns.org. Enter an account name. The IP address you enter here is the current WAN IP of your network. Under the IP address window is a link that identifies your current WAN IP. Just click this link and the IP address will be filled in the above box. After creating the account, the DDNS site will send an email confirmation to your email address. Just log in to your email and click the link in the email to confirm and activate the DDNS account. You will see activation successful. When you see this message, it indicates that the DDNS account has been successfully created. Once the DDNS account has been successfully created, follow these three steps. First, set a fixed LAN IP for the camera. Second, set DDNS service settings. Third, do port forwarding in the router. First, Set in a fixed LAN IP for the camera. Choose basic network settings. Uncheck Obtain IP from DHCP server. Fill in the following information. Here, the IP address can be the current IP address. Keep the camera in the same subnet of your computer. If you don't know the settings for subnet mask, Gateway and DNS server. You can check local area connections of your computer. Enter the same subnet mask, gateway, DNS server settings for the camera. The HTTP port can be set to 80, 82, 80, 60, etc. In this example, we will set the port to 89. When finished entering all settings, click Submit and the camera will reboot. Second, setting the DDNS service settings. 
Choose DDNS service settings and select the DDNS account type that was created earlier. Choose dynds.org. Enter the user account information for the DDNS account. Click Submit and the camera will reboot. Make sure that the DDNS status shows DDNS succeed after the reboot. Third, do port forwarding in the router. Enable UPnP and then log in the router to do port forwarding. Make sure you forward the camera's LAN IP and port correctly. The LAN IP and port should match the exact IP and port with setting basic network settings. Remember to save the port forwarding. After all three steps are completed, you can make a note of the address. The DDNS link can be used to monitor the camera from anywhere through the Internet. If you have a static WAN IP, you will only need to do port forwarding on router. You can use your static WAN IP and port to access the camera remotely. You can go to www.whatismyip.com to check your WAN IP. You can also log in to your router to find the WAN IP information. 4. Email Alarm Settings if the email alarm is set, the camera will send pictures to email when motion detect. There are two steps. A. Configuring mail service settings. Email for the sender must support SMTP functionality. There can be four receivers. Input the correct SMTP server and port. If report Internet IP by mail is selected, the camera will send a reminder to the email addresses to indicate that the WAN IP has changed. Click Submit to save your settings before clicking on Test. B. Configuring the alarm service settings. Select the Motion Detect ARN box to enable alarm. Select Send Mail on Alarm. If you set the schedule, it will allow you to set the camera for a specific time to activate the motion alarm. Select the scheduler box. This will present you with a time and day grid. By using your mouse, single or double click the time you would like to have the motion alarm activated. The selected time will turn blue, which indicating the motion alarm is activated. If a schedule is not set, the camera will alarm at any time when motion is detected. Click Submit to save your changes. When motion is detected, the camera will send alarm pictures to your email. The green light in the device status interface will alternate between red and green and keep blinking until the alarm stops. During this time, the camera will record the motion automatically and store the recordings on your computer. 5. Two-way audio settings Normally, indoor cameras support two-way audio. The camera has audio and talk functionality. Audio Activate the earphone icon. This opens the built-in microphone of the camera. The camera will capture sound of events around it. Hello? You can hear the incoming audio from the speakers of your computer.
You can also plug earphones or headsets into your computer to listen to it. Hello. Talk. Activate the microphone icon. This opens the built-in speaker of the camera. Simply talk to the microphone plugged into the computer. Hello. And you are able to hear your voice through the camera's built-in speaker. Hello. An external microphone and speaker will work as well with the same operation above. For other settings that this video didn't mention, please refer to your user's menu. If you have any problems when using the Forcecam camera, please contact your reseller or Forcecam engineers. Thanks again for your trust and support on Forcecam IP camera.